and I've been in the industry about 40, 45 years. I started as an apprentice in a cabinet shop uh, when I was 13 years old and eventually I owned my own business and ran it. I ran that business for 12 years running my own cabinet shop. I really liked being in the field. It's actually where I preferred to be and so I eventually sold my shop and now I do uh, predominantly installations and uh, I do some trim work and stuff like that and, the, and finishing a home. Well, comfort is important to me um, precisely because I've got to be, I'm in and out of uh, the car all day long, my vehicle, I'm in and out of homes, up and down stairs, I'm down on my knees, I need, I need that to be something that's not cumbersome and bothering me all day. I don't want to scratch things that I'm working around. I need stuff to be secure and tight to me. I don't need it falling off. Um, that, that can damage floors and stuff like that. So I really need that comfort and security when I'm working about in the, um, in the field. We use Makita, uh, Milwaukee, Dewalt. They all fit this platform and it's uh, really important that, that uh, they function with the with this stuff we use and we've also gone completely cordless and it just works really well with the setups we have. So. Well the reason I wear SWAT clips is because uh, number one uh, they're really convenient, they're comfortable and and uh, the, probably the biggest reason is because it's not hard on, not hard on the clothing and stuff that I wear. I, I can just hook that right there. The other option is you can see how worn these pants are I used to do a lot of that and it, it wears it out. It's a two hand load. I don't like that where I can just put that in and out like that. Got my knife sitting right there. Just like the convenience of it. Um, I also like the fact that I don't like to be bulked up with a full apron. I like to be able to set something down and use a different tool. If I get, if I get bulked up too bad, then I'm potentially damaging stuff. Uh, with my tape, uh, it was immediate, um, or you know, it's like it was an automatic fit because it was one-handed, and instead of pulling something like this, or even trying to hook up on my belt, it was just, it just, it was as natural as can be. It didn't even, I didn't even hardly miss a beat. That's how natural it was. I like my tape measure because it's really convenient. It's a pretty much a blind load whenever I'm checking stuff. Just got to check stuff out, see what I'm, see what I'm up against, see what kind of stuff I'm dealing with, and it's just a really natural position. I never even think about it. Oftentimes, I forget I even have it on. Commonly, I use it for uh, the screws that I do to tie cabinets together and to the wall. But on a day like today, I've got a toe kick uh, fit I've got to make, and I've got some component parts that I don't want to lose. I can put them all in there, and if I if I get down on the floor, uh, the thing stands alone, and a lot of times, a lot of times, I don't necessarily want it on me, but I want it next to me so I can get down on the floor and it'll be right there. Or sometimes, if I'm up on a countertop or an upper cabinet, I can just hook it up like that, and then I have that stuff right there. Well. The reason I like this bit box is because um, most of the time I only need about four or five different tips. And so I like to be able to open that up and have that right there. And most of the time when I'm using this, I end up just slipping it on to my bag just like that. And then I can operate with it and just open up and there's the bits I need. If I need to make a change, it's, it's really quite simple on shifting gears to a different bit. Well, yeah, I can tell you right now, I, I already am addicted to a number of them. I, ca I can't get a, this bit box, this bag, and the tape holder, uh, the, even the knife, I don't use it quite as often, but it's just like, if I don't have them on me, it's like I'm naked. 